hey guys welcome back to my channel so in this tutorial we are going to learn the easiest way to add a base map on mapbox gl or what i perceive to be the easiest way and a base map basically provides context to a map meaning you have a basic understanding of your surrounding so a few examples of maps without base maps as shown it is difficult to really um, contemplate on where the maps are located now mapbox provides a number of um, styles or base maps you can pause and view them so to get started i'll create a folder this will be our project folder i'll name it my mapbox map you can name it to your preference then once i have this folder i will open it in visual studio code you can open it in your preferred code editor Now within the folder, we are going to create a number of files and we'll create three files to be precise. That is the index.html, the JavaScript file, and the CSS file. So let's open that in a bit. Um, an index file. JavaScript file um, let's rename it to something like app.js and finally a CSS file for styling so in our index.html we'll just create a basic skeleton of the HTML and then we'll add a div tag which will carry the container of the map so before that let's reference our JavaScript and CSS files then add our div tag with an ID of map and this will be the map container so we can um, reference this map ID in our CSS file and style it accordingly We'll give it a um, height and a width. So in our CSS, um, let's give it a height. Um, hash map. Let's correct that. Four hundred pixels and one hundred percent for the width. And then for the JavaScript file, head on, head on to your documentation. And you're going to first copy these two links and add them to the head section of our HTML page. Okay, so once that is in place, let us add the JavaScript snippet. So copy that. and paste it within app.js now the access token will be found within your um, your account as shown in the previous video i link it and then you also have the map object which takes in a number of options including a container and a style so the default style is the streets version 9 Let's just run this and see what we have as a result. So that's a basic base map um, with the style streets. Heading on to our documentation under the API reference, we can look at the map object just to see a number of options that it takes and see what we can change. So let's try and change our base map or our style. So go to the options.style and for this tutorial we'll change it to the dark version 10. Probably you could try another style. And then So um, we get a dark base map, 
Going back to the documentation, we can also add a center and it takes in a long lat like value, which is an array. So we'll retrieve that from Google Maps. So I'll just head on to Google Maps and pick a few, um, like an array of coordinates, that's the longitude and latitude. Hmm. So let me just copy paste that into the center. And then let's run. Um, we need to also add a zoom level. So a zoom and that's 12. Reload. And let's see. So it seems um, I need to change something. Perhaps the coordinates are supposed to be interchanged. So let me just try and interchange them and see if it makes a difference. Okay. I think now it's correct. So what needs to happen is you need to interchange the coordinates. Okay, we can also adjust the map height and refresh that just a little bit. That looks better. Now, back to the documentation. We can also um, try and add a bearing and a pitch just to see how it will look. Of course, you can play around with these values or these um, options. So, we'll just add a bearing. There's 45. Let's add a pitch. And you can see it ranges from 0 to 60. We just put 30. Refresh that. Um, let's change the base map to streets just for visibility. And refresh that. Uh -huh. Okay, we can adjust the bearing and pitch just to enhance the 3D visualization. So now it looks better. This appears to look like a 3D. So once you play with the pitch and bearing, you have um, a 3D-like appearance of the map. Thanks guys, goodbye.